Hello everybody, how's it going? Milby here, and welcome back to another episode of The Hand of Fate. Alright, so last time things began to get a bit tougher, but we found a really cool frost sword, which I definitely want to keep with us. So let's head on. You off. have what it takes to defeat the rats. I don't know, let me get that mouse out of the way. Alright, so... Who's up next? Goblet. So that, I got the goblet last time, which upgraded my counterattacks, my increase my stun, damage, um, give me new starting gear, and but also made enemies stronger and give him throwing knives. So now we have the Jack of Plague. The players, uh, right? So <clears throat> the Jack of Plague, twice the fail. The player loses five gold for every fail and ten gold for every huge failure chance card. Ooh. Challenges three times rat men hunting, three times angry mob. Law. Here is a beast who hates your kind and has grown fat and evil within that hatred. Jack of Plague will kill you and suck the marrow from your bones. Ah, the rats. They have swarmed up from the dark places beneath the realms of humanity and now squat amongst your cities and feast and shriek and hunt and drive. All right, so once again, we're gonna go with my own selections because I think it's more interesting. Okay, hmm, lots of stuff here. Um, I want to see what this huge ham is about. I'm gonna get rid of desperate measures. I'm gonna get rid of the axe as well. Um. Old scavenger hat, fleet cuffs, so many here. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of... Did we find out what Consuming Shame did? No. We did find out what that one did though, didn't we? Yeah, okay, so... I'm gonna find out what Time Heals is all about. Uh, I guess we'll take Healer's Ring and Ring of Survival. Take that one, that one, and that one. We'll just try all these new ones, see if we get them. Might not be the best idea, but hey, you know what? I like it. This is my way. This is my way of doing things. Right, Dead King's Hall. Right, so we've got a couple new ones here. Uh, okay, so. Let's mix things up. I want to keep the Meister in for the easy shield for now. Well, and again, I've got a shield, so. I don't know about that. If I could swap out four, I don't have for new ones. So yeah, let's swap out Dead King's Hall. Alpha Priest, Maze of Traps, and Meister Lionel. Charity, Fresh Sleep, Devil's Carnival, Empty Tower. Oh wait, I realize I can pick four more, can't I? Oh right, well I'll put back in that one. Back in that one. Two more. Uh, let's go with... Alpha Priest and Devil's Choice. Looks good to me. Well, let's... Do it. Our Lord of Plague does like to rub your nose in misfortune. Oh my god, look at those angry mobs. Get my water. I'm ready for another uh, fun game of this. Really do love this game right now. This is the mob cards. Okay, here we go. Helpful Priest. Alright. Meet a wandering priest who greets you in a friendly manner. For a small share of the provisions, I will bless you in the name of the old gods. I want to give him my half my food. Um, I'm going to go over yes. I'm going to go over yes. This might be bad, but I would love a huge success. Choose okay, from these this one. Oh, yes! Oh, so good. Such a good guess. He speaks in the language of the old religion for several minutes and then gently touches your forehead. It is done. Draw two blessing cards. Eh, check out these Haradra cubes. <laughs> I can never do that. Diablo. Eh, Diablo. I can't, I can't do the Haradra guy anymore. The Haradran. Useful. After your first chance card pick, uh, you may return the card and draw again after shuffling. Chance, chance time! 
Okay, I guess that's good. We understood that one. Undead that physically that strike the player may receive damage. I will have themselves. to rebalance that next time. Ooh, nice. I like that one. Maybe hopefully we see undead. So. The twisted cannon. My food is insanely low right now, so that may have been a bad choice, but uh, we'll see. You see a weapon glint glinting in the sunlight lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. Well, it's kind of covered in vines, perfect climbing. Yes, climb down to get it. Got a bigger chance of success and failure, but there's always that chance of failure. This one. Oh, yes. Oh, is this what I can do? Wow. That's pretty goddamn useful. That's what that lets me do. Wow. Is that like a permanent thing as well? It's amazing. Draw one weapon card. Okie dokie. What's it going to be? The huge hammer! As you string together consecutive attacks, you do greatly increased damage. Press the left bumper to unleash a fourth explosion. Whoa. Okay, and that has holy, so yeah, much better than maze. You do greatly increased damage. Okay. Left bumper to unleash a fourth Yeah, do it. As pleases you. I wonder if it's like a one handed thing or not. Oh, yes, the maiden. I'm going to go for the food. Badly. Yes, he does. Right, maiden. One day in the shady forest, you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merif, the forest folk. My people have long held the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? I would like supplies, please. Bread will sustain you for many days. Draw two gift food cards. Yes. I'm sure you are grateful for Oh, that. so grateful you don't even know. It's said that the sharp-eyed adventurers may protect themselves from the worst of Lady Luck's country, uh, nature. Farewell, mortal. On we go to the next floor. A forest Roaming escape. ever forward, hunting for the truth. Your path it's forwards will take you into the forest. Take the forest path. Take the forest path. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. Each of these cards is crafted from your memories mm. and built from your experience. This way. I created them, but only in the abstract. It is the importance you place on them that makes them real. In the shady grove of the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. General shops offer a range of items and healing, but a price a little higher than usual. I don't even have any money, so... I don't even make any use of it. Why do I have a shield? Where do I get a shield from? <laughs> oh, do I still have a shield now? Here is all you have gained. Oh, that's pretty useful. That's a one-handed hammer as well. Oh, the goblins! Oh, bastards! Oh, I bet they steal my goddamn axe, my hammer now. One night you awaken to find your belongings being rifled through by goblins. As soon as they notice you stirring, they run away with your weapon. They have also stolen some of your food and gold. I know I read these a lot, like, every time, but I'm doing it for the sake of people who may have not have come in before, and I know some people like to just listen to me talk for whatever reason, so... I'll go with that one. Right, they took some of my food as well, the bastards. Alright, here we go. I got my hammer. They took my axe, but I will get it back. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, I got one down. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Alright. Ah. Ah. Oh, what? Oh, okay, never mind. Come here, come here. Ah. Oh, I like that. I like that hammer slam. So do you have to like run around picking them up again? Is that like I guess that's important. We got gold though from that. They actually gave us gold. <laughs> when the goblin threat dealt with, you continue on your way. Um tempted to go back there and get some food. I think I'll do that. If I can get more than I just spent going back there. 
Honestly, like, the main thing I want to buy here is just food. I just want to make sure that I can get through the floors. If I can do that, then I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> like, that is, that, everything else is, like, second nature. I just want the food. So look what we can buy anyway. From reflecting a small, uh, from creating a fucking projectile, this crown creates a small force explosion. Shield, got a shield. Healer's ring. Whenever the player receives healing, they also gain plus one gold. Ah, interesting. Armor of cold. Nearby enemies are immediately slowed as the chilling effect of this armor takes hold. That's really nice and useful. Can I sell? An axe. Uh, no. Let's buy some food. Right, what have I got? Four, three. Okay, I'll just buy. Here we go. Yeah, I feel a bit better about that. Okay. <coughs> okay, let's go back this way. Maze of traps. Oh, I'm okay with that one. You know me, I don't mind my maze of traps. Find a goblin treasure cave. Will you enter? Yes. Now I'm wondering if these ever get harder or not. That's my that's my thing. Like these aren't hard to do. Which is why I've kept them in so far. Oh, this one looks different. So I'm wondering now, maybe this will be like the one that finishes me off, right? So we've got to be careful. Go for traps. Right, okay, that was definitely yeah, I see those green lines on the floor, so. I reckon those are bad. I don't think we want to go near the fawns because they'll probably hurt me. Whoa, I didn't see that. Ow. Oh. <laughs> Careful. Ow, didn't see that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I figured there's something like that. Okay, so these do get nastier. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, man, I lost a lot of health then. Wow. Okay, so they get tougher. I'm glad, actually. I'm glad. Four gain cut, three gain cut. That's good, though. Gold gain. That's all oh, a nice gain. 25 gold. Oh, my God, that's good. On equipment. Medium armor. Yes. Distinctly average. What do you expect me to say? I was going to go back to get frost armor then. If I've got the medium armor, I'll just keep that. It's a ride. Catch a ride. Than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. Certainly. Um. Before I do that, I'm gonna take a look at just like at least one of the other ones. Meister Lionel. Okay, so I don't actually need this guy anymore because he just gives me a shield. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes a seat next to yours. It taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin poorly disguised as a human. His wise and face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Master Lionel. I keep changing his name, his voice. <laughs> you give me what I need, boy. I will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation. Um. Gotta give him 20. Let's see, maybe, maybe he'll give me something else this time. Give him 20 gold. Occasionally losing his place, moving different coins around, randomly he attempts to count the gold you place in front of him. This carries on for quite a while before he quite calmly and deliberately swallows each of the coins one by one. He then sits considering you for a while before slapping the table with his hand. Ha! Aha! I know what you need! My Lionel taps the table with his staff and some plump cakes appear in front of you. Remember, boy, when someone asks whether you'd like cake or pie, tell them you want cake and pie. The dealer draws you one food gain card. Wow, that's different. He actually... Is it because I already have shield? Mm. Oh, man, I'm glad I did that. Um... Um... I think I'll carry on. A horse is a fine, fine companion. companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. Embark on the next leg of your adventure. For friends, even in the animal kingdom. Shut up. Hush. Can you hear the way his claws scratch the tiles? No. <laughs> no, I don't hear what you're talking about. Bandit attack. Uh -oh. Bandits, eh? 
Make an enemy of one, and you've made an enemy of all. One can't help but admire their single-mindedness. Man, he does interrupt me a lot, doesn't he? <laughs> he likes to talk, this guy. A group of bandits suddenly attacks. The King of Dust isn't happy about you killing his men. The King of Dust is dead. What do those red lines mean? Does that mean they're upgraded because of the goblet? Probably does. Probably means they have knives. Alright, I'm ready for it though. I've got my shield, my medium armor, and my hammer of great justice. My explosive powers. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Counter, hit them. Oh, wow, was that it? Dude, this hammer's amazing. Wow, that's all I can say there is wow. That hammer wrecked face. Among the bodies you find a scrap parchment with a rough description of you, plus an offer of reward from the King of Dust. The dealer draws you one gain card. Draw three. Inspect and put back. Ooh. Oh. Rant. Rat men hunting. Treasure chest. Angry mob. I wouldn't mind seeing what this rat men hunting's about. I'm gonna go here anyway first, though. Oh no, angry mob. So quick to anger. That's what makes them a mob, really. <laughs> As you approach the small town of Witchburn, an angry mob of peasants marches forth and confronts you. The rat men have eaten all our food! We're starving! We demand food! Try to avoid the crowd. Give them nothing. Give them nothing. You try to ask them why they have no food and to explain that they have no reason to attack you. Hungry peasants surround you even as you try to speak. Oh shit. Okay. I probably should have tried to avoid them. Redraw. Oh, okay, it's not a huge failure, though. I've got his food sack, somebody yells, dashing to the crowd. After a brief scuffle, nothing is left of your food supplies but a few scraps of torn material. Oh, what am I going to do? I've got no food. The deeper you go, the greater the risk of starvation. Are you kidding me? I've got, no oh my god, are you kidding me? I'm going to lose health now every time? Oh, great. Exploring a dungeon, you see a treasure chest at the end of a hall. Approach the treasure chest. I would love a success right now, please. Oh, let me draw. Oh, God. God damn it. We should only hear a click. Oh, I tend to escape the gas. Room begins to fill with gas. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is a disaster. This one. No. Oh my gosh, guys. This is literally falling apart around us. Oh, man. Attempting to escape the gas, you make your way through the clouds, coughing at some dangerous gas once you make it to the other side. The dealer draws you one pain card. Lose five health. Oh, dear. Approach the chest chest. Again, a token is at stake. Chest looks battered, but still intact. What treasure might it hold? Attempt to pry it open. Oh no. <laughs> no! Roll a d6. Oh yes. Oh my gosh. After a mighty heave, the lock gives way and the spoils are yours. Please be food. Your dealer draws you file four game cards. This card's token is now yours. Oh, give me food. Please one of them be food. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Oh, food. Oh my god, give me food. Right. What Your is this? Prize. Okay, those are gonna wreck me if I go there. I need to I gotta hope one of these is food stuff. <gasps> traveling healer. Yes, in a shady grove of the bean trail you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Approach the shop. Greetings, wise traveller, I have much to offer you. Uh, a chance to buy more food. 
You must be relieved. I am. I am indeed. I don't mind about the gold losing shit thing, to be honest with you. Heal wounds. Wait, I want to buy food. Okay, let me heal. Let's heal. Fifteen. More health to work with. Much good meat, do you? All right, that's good. All right, now we buy some food. Five food for eighteen. Yes, let's do it. Okay. Can I get any more? I could. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Oh my gosh. All right. Okay. Right, let's find out what this one's about then. Now you begin to trespass upon the ratmen's hunting. You grounds. stumble upon a ratman hunting party, prepare to defend yourself. Dealer draws you one monster card. I don't mind these. Fighting is fine. Got four of plague. Oh god, are these gonna be like are these gonna like poison me? I'm so glad that that, uh, that merchant was there, because wow, that was we were very close to being up Shit's Creek then. Plague by name and plague by nature. The rats leave behind a deadly toxin. When they die? Ow. So I gotta be careful when they die. Actually, didn't I see one of these before? Nice! I probably could have used my hammer explosion thing, but I, I forgot about it. You sigh as you approach the bodies. To find nothing, if only there were another way to stop this plague of rat men. Pay someone to take care of it, perhaps. <laughs> I can exterminate it. That's a funny one. Um, well, I gotta go too, so I guess we'll go here and there. And here we go. Once the ratmen begin to creep towards the edge of the town, anger follows shortly behind. Okay, so we got another angry mob going on. Right. Just give them just. Uh, I'm. What's that going to take me down to? Eight. Yeah, just give them half my food. You have to share half your food. The peasants they gather around to see your offerings. Haven't you got any more? Asked one of the peasants. This is something, but we've got to ration out to everyone. You leave the simple folk to their troubles. Okay, I'm, I'll, I'll take that over the, al the alternative. I guess, um... Call for a priest. Nice. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Let's approach the shop. Maybe I can buy, like, one or two bits of food. Man, I don't like these... I don't like those peasants, man. Try to avoid them is an interesting one. Buy a blessing. Can't even buy any of those, doesn't matter, does it? Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah no, 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 no. Um, let's, let's just get two of those. Oh, we'll just run with that one and uh, hope it keeps us safe and alive. Oh, I'm just dropping everything all over the place. Don't worry about me. What's here? Oh my god, this is the Jack of Plague. He awaits plague and pestilence and blood and teeth. Hmm. Faster and stronger than normal rat men, his beasts, this beast inspires all vermin around him to strike faster, the more damage he sustains. Oh. He is a beast who hates your kind and has grown fat and evil with that hatred. The Jack of Plague will kill you and suck the marrow of your bones. As you Bring it on, Jack of Plague. Of your memories, you'll gain new cards, some you'll wish you'd left untouched. Kind of wish I'd seen those two now. Probably should have gone for those two first, but... What if one of them was the angry mob? I don't want to deal with the angry mob again. 
This guy suck. Four of Plague. All right, here we go, everybody. It's time to fight the boss of this area. Oh man, you look kind of interesting. All right, let's get rid of the, the little dudes first. Oh crap! Ow! Whoa! Okay. I gotta remember to counter the long stuff. Damn it! Come here, you bastard! Ah! Ah! Come here! <laughs> Remembering to counter that uh, those long distance ones is difficult. Right, I think it's just me and you now. Whoa! Oh! Down! 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 Alright, yes, yes, give me that, and that, and then that, and then that, and then that, and then that. And then that. Ugh. It's alright, it's too late already, he's dead. <laughs> the queens and kings of the rat kind have lost a child here today. Oh no, infanticide! No way, you For can your slaughter, child. your reward. Nice. Let's find out what we get, shall we, guys and gals and everybody? What are we gonna get here? For plundering a locked treasure chest, you receive. What do we get? We get a fool's gold. Interesting. Uh, we get for defeating the Ratman Jack. Right, we get berserker armor. Ooh, so that's gonna be like damage up kind of armor. So that's pretty good. That could be used to us. Scorching zeal, Whoa, like a burning mace that kind of looks like. The culling of the rat men, king of dust, so that's the next boss, and the old graveyard. We've got one more to come in the Ratman Jack. We also regain Ratman hunting, which is locked in. Oh, these are all the ones that are locked in Ratman hunting, Ratman hunting, and Mage's Tower. Okay. Come, play. I do not want to just sit here. Right, well then, Look there you the go, everybody. You have earned. Now we have enough oh. to begin a real game. Hang on. He really likes to entice you to play that next one, doesn't he? Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. We did another one. We defeated the Jack of Plague today. Uh, with our amazing mace that was just too good to believe. Uh, thank you for watching, though. I hope you enjoyed. If you did... Give me a like or whatever, help me out in the videos. Let me know what you liked about the video in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And uh, if you want to get in contact with me for any other reason, then uh, email me, milbylp at gmail.com. Other than that, though, everybody, thank you for watching. Hope I see you next time. When we'll find out what other cards the hands of fate will deal out. Cheesy ending line. Bye! <laughs>